So let's take a look at uh, what's the story with those keys because they are a bit confusing. So I have this key priest pressed uh, method and all I added to this method is uh, print key method. Uh, called uh, It's just my own method which I defined below and all it does just prints the current key like this. You see on the bottom here it pr prints the time in milliseconds, it prints the stars so we can easier to see and it says key pressed and which character. So here I press the S character. And actually when key released you can see this is the key release method and all I have added I have added this one to the bottom and all it does as well it just prints uh, this thing and then it press which key if it was a character or a shift uh, was actually pressed so that's these are all uh, two changes this is how the print key function is we get the time from the millis function then we check if the key is coded and we print coded and if key is not coded then we just print out the character that's it so let's um, make the console a bit larger and let's take a look and let's rock and roll Okay, so we start our sketch, make sure it's focused, and now I press the A button. The, and I press the A button, what we can see, we see that actually key press is being triggered every few milliseconds, every 15-30 milliseconds we can see. I call it pulsing. Somebody may say, oh, actually this is called the key type event, but that's not completely correct. Uh, it's a key press method which is called, not the key typed. And that's a, one of those tricks which you learn about processing when you start doing it. Now I release it. And here I released it and you can see that actually the key release event was called once. Now let's start with shift. And I press the shift and what can I see? The 16 is the code for shift. So I can see that actually the shift as well is triggering key pressed every few milliseconds. But uh, when I release it, it just types it again once key released so key released is called once key pressed is called every few milliseconds which I call pulsing so uh, now let's play a bit more now let's actually try to press the um, shift key and it's clear it's gonna be pulsing and now I press the A key and now the A key starts pulsing obviously it's the capital A now because it detects that it is uh, there is a capital uh, a because I hold shift but the funny part about that is that uh, shift key stopped pulsing now I can release the A key and you can see that all I got is the event for key released for A but I'm actually now holding the shift button and what happens it stopped pulsing and here you can see shift is still true yes because we haven't received the f um, off event the key release event now I'm gonna release the shift and you can see that actually I have released uh, shift and I have got this key released event with the code 16 which is key for sh for the shift so you can actually start realizing what happens is that the key released is is, is sent later and uh, you can actually understand as well that the key pressed is gonna be sent all the time it's gonna be pulsing uh, another thing you need to understand about how the keys are processed in processing is that, for example, if I now hold the A key, it starts pulsing. And I help hold now S key, it starts pulsing as well. And now I key hold the W key, now it's a bit hard with one hand. Now I hold the W key, I think I, 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 I need to click here, and I will hold the W key, and some, somehow everything has stopped. Okay, two keys. S released. Okay, I'll try that again. Okay, I hold the A key. I hold the S key now together. Now I hold the W key and everything stops. So basically if I hold three keys, everything somehow stops. I don't get, you see, I just press W and it didn't appear anywhere. So I release W now, nothing still happens. I release the, I try to press, let's say, D, D key. D has appeared. Wow. Why? Okay, I'll just try, try to press W again. Again, just everything stops and nothing happens. Um, interesting. And I release W and I release D. And D is released and S is released and A is released. And uh, maybe there was some special a case for W but there was no 
Okay, let's leave it as it is. But uh, let's continue running our sketch and learning about the keys. So basically, if I want to hold something, uh, understand how to hold multiple key combinations, how do I do this? First, I have to figure out that key pressed is um, for shift has happened. So now I set the shift to true. Now what I understand is that I can actually uh, get the capital key, uh, like F, for example. Now I can actually release the shift and let's take a look what happened over there. I release the shift. And what happened is that the character... The, I started receiving key pressed event for this... For the lowercase f. But there was no capital F release event. So you have to keep in mind that. And now, actually I have released the not capital F. So there is a bit of t tricks how it can work, but hopefully this helps to you to understand a little better a little bit better the key the key handling here.